There is nothing more Australian than the dramatic sport of camp drafting. Born in the bush early last century as a way for stockhands to show off their mustering skills. Large mobs of cattle would run unfenced and men of the country would pit their riding skills and their horse flesh against one another as entertainment in harsh conditions. Today, it is the professional sport of camp draft. And there is no championship quite like the Sydney Royal Easter Show World Championship. An invitation only event, 15 of the best, going head to head tonight. It's night five of a marathon competition. And Tim Dreverman, you're on the ground, mounted up, I see. I most certainly am, Lindsay Douglas. It is the best seat in the house, other than being in the NG Stadium. And we are going to see some amazing sport here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. If you have not seen this competition before, I'm going to give you a very quick rundown of how it happens. Down to my left in the arena here, we have a camp. And in that camp, there are some beautiful steers that have been donated by the Elliston Pastoral Company. They're going to bring the, way, the team of steers out into the pen. Each rider will go in there. They'll cut one beast out from the mob. When they feel they've done enough, they'll call for the gate. That gate will fly open. Horse, steed and steer will then come out here into the NG Stadium and they're going to take this steer on a little journey around this arena trying to get maximum points. They're going to bring the steer on a left-hand course here tonight between the flags or hopefully they're gone by that stage and uh, pick up the first of the pegs. They'll then have to do what we call the changeover. The steer goes from the left-hand side to the right-hand side and they'll bring that steer around on a cloverleaf pattern around the second peg you can see all our competitors are just warming up here at the moment. Do a little bit of drafting of Tony Mortimer there. And now here's where it gets really interesting, ladies and gentlemen. There's 45 seconds for which they are to be able to bring that steer from down here on this eastern side of the ground over to the members' stand. And you can see two pegs out here in the middle of the arena, and they're going to try and take horse, steed and rider through these two pegs. And if they do that, you'll see they'll give their horse a big pat. They'll bid farewell to that beautiful steer and say thank you very much, and they'll try and pick up the best possible score out of 100. This is a sport that was born and bred here in Australia. It is Australia's own sport, and let me tell you, if you've never seen it before, strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, because Lindsay Douglas, I am a passionate show jumper, but I have to say, this is almost my favourite event here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. The, chair, the uh, camp draft, being able to witness the skills of horse and rider is second to none. Well, it's one of the fastest growing equestrian sports in the world, and one of the few sports where we see men and women go head to head in the same competition. We've got a number of competitors here tonight that have won it in the past and others that are at their first ever Sydney Royal World Championship Camp Draft. But to get our competition underway here this evening, ladies and gentlemen, it is fitting that we all join to sing the Australian National Anthem. Could I please ask you all to be upstanding and gentlemen to remove your hats as Emma Irene leads us in song. Australians, oh, let us rejoice, for we are one and free. We've golden soil and wealth for toil. Our home is good by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty, rich and Let every stage advance Australia fair in joyful strains and let us sing advance Australia fair beneath our radiant sun. Who've come a 
across the seas, we found less plains to share. With courage, let us all combine to advance Australia fair in joyful strains, and let us sing at Ah, what a beautiful rendition of the Australian National Anthem performed here tonight by Miss Emma Irene. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, the stage is set for round number five of the Tyrrells World Championship Camp Draft. And it's great to welcome here this evening the voice of camp drafting here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show, Jim Callanan. Good evening, Jim. Uh, good evening, Jake. Good evening, Lindsay. Yes, yeah, starting to get down to the exciting part of the World Championship Camp Draft for 2024. Probably uh, after tonight's round, it'll be uh, down to the wire tomorrow night between a few competitors. Hey, Jim, uh, Tim Dreverman walked us or cantered us through the course a moment ago, but he didn't explain how it scored. Lindsay, in the uh, cattle camp where the cattle are coming into there now, that's out of a possible score of 26 points. And that's where Tim uh, indicated where the beast makes his selection, brings it to the uh, face of the camp and get as many points as he possibly can from the judges out of the score of 26. It's a left-hand course tonight, so the uh, first peg's taken on the left. You get two points for that peg. Then you come back to do the changeover in the middle of the arena there. The second peg is taken on the right. You get another point for that peg. They come around, they do the crossover, they head out towards the uh, member stand to... The two pegs where they're close together, which we refer to as the gate, and that'll be a full course, and that's another point for that. Put the 26, then there's 70 points for horse work, that is the control of the run, speed of the run, and the control, and then you put the 70 and the four and the 26 is out of a possible score of 100. Well, thanks so much, Jim Callanan. Uh, Jake Smith, our first competitor, is headed into camp. Yeah, that's right, Lindsay. This will be Josh Barnett riding Syrah, simply irreductible. And there were 81 points here last night. Down to you, Jim. Well, Josh Barnett was simply irreductible. And he gets one away nice and clean, and that's a good, very good start. That just impresses the judges a little more. Nothing like getting one off nice and clean. And he calls for the gate. And here is Josh Barnett now with Simply Irreductible. It's a left-hand course and Simply Irreductible. And he's got a very fast running Angus Cross here around the first peg. And is looking very good here for Simply Irreductible. And Josh Barnett, oh, he's going to gather things up here now around the second peg. Says, just sit back a little bit, Josh. And I think we should make a little move now. And back, you should be all right on the edge of the chair. You should be sitting now and riding with uh, Josh and Simply Irreductible. Come on back, push them on, push them on. Beautiful camp drafting, champagne camp drafting in round number five for Josh Barnett and Simply Irreductible. Oh, Josh Barnett, congratulations. Straight out of the camp, straight on the board. How did that feel, mate? Yeah, good way to get the night started, Tim. Night number five, you're starting to understand what's going to happen here, and, mate, you've pulled a shoe. Yeah, we uh, must have tried in a hole and spat a shoe there. He's going to jump off his horse. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to pick up the shoe that keeps the horse stay grounded to the ground, but please put, his head, put your hands together for Josh Barnett. Well, the scores come through now for Simply Irreductible, written by Josh Barnett of 22 for cutout, 63 for horsework, four out of four for the cause, a total of 89 points. 89 points there for Simply Irreductible, written by Josh Barnett. So we go to uh, Luke Bennett. From Glen Innes, in the northern tablelands of New South Wales. And he does it very quickly and nicely and neatly as well. And look here, Moonbeam. 
right on the job here this evening for round five. Calls for the gate. Drops back, comes now out onto the NG Stadium. They're on the dance floor. And let's see how they go here this afternoon. And look at Moonbeam. Oh, she's on high beam. She's got everything all under control. They float around the first. They do the changeover. Two out of four for the course. They do, oh, look, he's going to tighten it right up. Moonbeam says, keep on riding. Keep on riding here now, Luke. We've nearly got this all under control. Three out of four. Come on, Sydney, girls and boys. We could have to get the Tyrrells out again. Look here, Moonbeam. Raw Full course, looks good. Ah, uh, Luke Bennett, congratulations. A little birdie tells me in my ear this horse is multi-talented. He does a bit of show jumping as well. Yeah, he's got a bit of spring in his step. He can jump a little bit. <laughs> jump around this NG Stadium tonight, mate. How have you enjoyed camp drafting at the Sydney Royal Easter Show? Oh, it's next level. The atmosphere, the ground, cattle. What more could you want? Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Luke Bennett. Scores come through now for Moonbeam and Luke Bennett of 22 for cutout, 64 and a half for horsework, four out of four for the course, a total of 90 and a half. 90 and a half points there for Moonbeam, ridden by Luke Bennett. Here we go now with Troy Palmer from Kula, New South Wales. And the support team will be at home riding with him as well with the owner Jet and Lockie and Yogi. Now steps out now into the NG Stadium here on the dance floor here now. Round five. This is Blue Tunes and Troy Palmer. Oh, yes. And he just says, I'll just sit. Now I'm ready to go. Blue Tunes. He says, I'll just sneak up here. And now Troy just said, we'll just come back a little bit. And he's going to tighten it around the second peg here. Right around. This is camp drafting. Right around the beast's shoulder. Troy Palmer. Blue tunes. Now, so he lines things up. He takes it over. Sydney. Boys and girls. Mums and dads. Let's ride with Troy. Can he get it around? Blue tunes says, not yet. But I think we can now, Troy. I think we can now. And blue tunes and Troy Palmer. Well, we've got Scott Mitchell down here from Elliston Pastoral Company. Had a dream to get 14 runs on the board. We get three straight out of the bag. Troy Palmer, you must be happy with that one. Yeah, pretty happy, Tim. Wanted to slow down a bit for me. Mate, uh, you've been coming to this show for many, many years. It's a family affair. Your father drafted here as well. We've seen your cousin, mate. Why do you keep coming back? Oh, it's pretty good just to come down and get your city fix every year. Good crowd. Great place to ride. No place like it. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Troy Palmer. Scores come through now for Troy Palmer and Blue Tunes of 22 for cutout. 62 for horsework. Four out of four for the quarter total of 88 points. 88 points for Blue Tunes and Troy Palmer. Here we go now with Warwick Lawrence from Rosebrook the property development manager. Here now on the 10 year old stock horse mare and he's got himself a whole got a nice little bit of work there. Oh, and just going to sit up and come back inside the uh, first peg. But give him a round of applause there, Sydney. The stamp fell off the ladder before it got to the post office. We'll, we'll wait for the score there for Penny Mac, uh, for our last competitor, I should say, Warwick Lawrence. Next to go in the camp will be number five, Penny McIntosh, riding Hazelwood co-pilot. Back down to you, James. 21 and a half points there for Hunter View Royal Chick and Warwick Lawrence. 21 and a half points. So Penny McIntosh from Westmar via Gunda Windy, the property manager. And she's had a couple of good rounds too, Penny has, with Hazelwood co-pilot. So she's about to make her selection. One of our lady competitors. And they've certainly had a very good uh, series here, the ladies. Here we go. Penny McIntosh with co-pilot. And around the first peg, and she got herself a fast one. Look at co-pilot. And he's just going to run around on the top side. Gathers him up, going to get another one. Co-pilot, Penny McIntosh. And he's decided, there goes the stock whips. So there'll be a cutout score there, only there for Penny. Give a round of applause there. Sometimes things just don't go to plan. Well, Jim Calladon will introduce our next 
right into camp as you get those scores through. It's Matt Moffat, uh, winner of last year's World Championship cab draft and winner of night four last night as well with a score of 87 all the way from a little town called Cabra near Rockhampton on She Be A Cat. Score for Hazelwood co-pilot and Penny McIntosh of 21 and a half points. 21 and a half points for Hazelwood co-pilot, ridden by Penny McIntosh. Well, Matt Moffat. Just staring at these Angus cross steers, compliments of Elliston Pastoral Company. Many thanks to Mrs. Packer and the family, to Rob Tag, the GM up there, and his 2IC, Scott Mitchell, joins us here this evening here for round five. He said, there's one here. I think I've got to just pick the right one. I need a big score tonight. She be a cat. Matt Moffat. He makes his selection. Gets it away nice and clean. Nice bit of work there by she be a cat. Goes across. Comes back to the middle of the arena. Now, goes back the other way. He calls for the gate. He's about to step out now into the Ingy Stadium. Onto the dance floor they come. She be a cat and Matt Moffat. Look here for care drafting here. Around the first peg they make their way. And she be a cat says, I think it's time to go now, Matt. We can just sit back here and do the changeover. And now he's going to gather things around here now, is he? Says, I'll just sit a little bit. I think you can ride now, Matt. I think you can go now. And she be a cat says, leave the footwork to me, Matt. You just line things up over here. They do do the changeover. Can they get there? Look at she be a cat. Look at she's right up on the B shoulder. Cam drafting. Beautiful, beautiful. Get out the Tyrrells with a dash of champagne. Champagne. Cam drafting. Well, he knows how to win this big competition. Matt Moffat. Mate, you nearly rode the steer through the gate. You were that close and tight to it. Oh, I don't know about that, Timmy. But... Sorry, mate. I'm lost for words here. Now there. It's a lot of effort. You nearly almost hold your breath for the full 45 seconds. Yeah, mate. No, it gets a bit intense when you get to the end of the uh, end of the experiment of the draft, and so it's really good to uh, get another one round. Well, NG Stadium, please put your hands together for last year's winner, Mr. Matt Moffat. And the scores come through for Matt Moffat, and she be a cat. 22 for cutout, 62 and a half for horsework. Four out of four for the course, a total of 88 and a half points. 88 and a half points for She Be A Cat, written by Matt Moffat. What do you think about that, Tia? So we go now with the number eight in the draw, Matt Holtz, with Gordon Vale, Cassia. And Cassia is ready to go to work and gets another one off nice and uh, neatly as well. Matt Holtz and Cassia. Right up the face of the camp, steps back, calls for the gate. He steps out in now to the NG Stadium. Matt Holtz now with Gordon Vale, Cassia around the first peak. Things are looking pretty good here for Cassia. Oh, 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 he just sort of, he zigged and he zagged and went around out under a neck, but he's got it back on course now. Comes back around here now. We'll let him float on over there, pass over the line. They get two out of four for the course. Lines things up and just going to cut it short. Just going to cut it short there on the second peg. And Matt Holtz just sits back a little bit, just lets this Angus cross to you, run on around. He'll try and get the uh, three. There goes the whistle. We'll leave that one into the hands of our camp draft judges and... Uh, Many, many thanks to Rodney Crump and Michael Hayes, two very well-known camp draft judges and competitors. Well, we welcome a first-time competitor, Sydney Royal, into camp now. She's had a wonderful couple of nights, Carolyn Burns on Hell's Angel, based at Dorigo in New South Wales, born and raised in the Queensland outback. So the scores come through now for Matt Holtz and Gordon Vale Cassia, 23 for cutout, 39 for horsework, two course points, a total of 64 points, 6-4. So now we move on there now to Carolyn Burns, Hills Angel, the Grazier from Dorigo. She's about to make her selection. She does so now. Gets it off nice and clean. 
Carolyn Burns, Hills Angels, they go to work here in the camp. Right up the face of the camp too, they call for the gate and they're coming out onto the dance floor here in the NG Stadium. They zig, they zag, they go, gather it up here now. And here now, Hills Angels got it all under control. Wow. Now what can they do? Carol and Burns have got the uh, controls in the hands through the reins. Just feeds her a little bit more rain around the second peg. Camp drafting now, right up on the beast's shoulder there now. Carol and Burns and Hills Angel, they come back, they do the changeover. This could be a very fast gate if she can get it there. Let's ride with the boys and girls, mums and dads. Can they do it? Hills Angels, Carol and Burns. Yes, they can. Looking pretty good. It's very good. I get pretty excited being able to be out here with all these amazing competitors, but I think the favourite person I get to talk to is this young lady. Hey, Carolyn, that was unbelievable. That's a whole lot of fun, mate. I really look forward to talking to you each night because it means I got it around. Get it around? And you were tight all the way. How do you think you're going to go on the scoreboard? I don't know. And, you know, to be perfectly honest, it's just a privilege to be here with such great company. What an answer. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Carolyn Burns. Well, the scores come through now for Carol and Burns and Hills Angel of 22 for cutout, 62 for horsework, four out of four for the cause, a total of 88 points. 88 points there for Hills Angels and Carol and Burns. We go now with Kate Schiffman with Nicolette and out onto the dance floor here in the NG Stadium. Kate Schiffman and Nicolette oh, and got themselves a fast one too and Nicolette says just sit a little tiny bit, Kate. We come around oh, and going to cut in on top side of the uh, first peg. So there'll be a cutout score there only, unfortunately, there for Kate Schiffman and Nicolette. Well, we'll come back to you, Jim, for that uh, camp score as uh, number 10 moves into the camp now. This is Tony Mortimer and uh, Tony is riding Bernie from Saltash. Back down to you, James. OK, the score there now for Kate Schiffman and Nicolette. A cutout score there of 22 points. 22 points there for Nicolette, ridden by Kate Schiffman. So Tony Mortimer. And Bernie. Just having a very good look over the steers. He gets the nod from our judges. Just use the hat, one more push. So Tony Mortimer and Bernie, they're about to go to work. And here they go. Tony Mortimer and Bernie, right up the face of the camp as well, looking for as many points out of a possible 26. They step out onto the dance floor here now in the NG Stadium in round five of the World Championship Camp Draft. And Bernie now comes around. He just lets the steer run on by. He said, we'll just sit back a little tiny bit. Now, Tony Mortimer and Bernie said, no, we'll go again. Now, just release, sits up a little bit, let the steer run on by. Comes around here now, what can he do with it? He get, looking to get the three out of four. Does so now, gets three out of four. What can they do now here? Come on, Sydney, boys and girls. Look to ride with Tony Mortimer and Bernie. It's looking good, oh yes. Tony Mortimer and Bernie. Well, let him catch his breath just for a moment. Tony Mortimer. Mate, that was sensational drafting. Thanks, mate. I've been trying to do that all week. Nice to get uh, a score on the board and to get a tight course like that. It uh, must be a real adrenaline rush. It is, mate, yeah. A, a tricky game, but um, it's always good coming down here and having a go at it. A sport of millimetres, millimetre perfect you need to be. You must have that control in this horse. And, of course, that partnership you've developed with him, it's really great to see. Yeah, mate, yeah. He's still got a bit to learn, but he's going all right. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Tony Mortimer. OK, the scores come through now for Tony Mortimer and Bernie of 21 for cutout, 61 for horsework. Four out of four for the course, a total of 86 points. 86 points for Bernie, ridden by Tony Mortimer. Well, we go to uh, number 12, Murray Wilkinson, with a mega cat from Kula. Here he comes, right up the face of the camp. The big grey horse. Here he is. Oh, look at this, right up the face of the... Oh! So, uh, you're only allowed two losers into the cattle. Murray Wilkinson now with a mega cat. And they set sail out here in the NG Stadium. 
and he got himself a fairly free flow running Angus Cross here. Comes around the first peg now, and he's going to try and tighten things up a little bit because he knows time's ticking away. Now, a mega cat, Murray Wilkinson. They float on around the second peg. Right around, he says, I'll just sit back a little bit. Looking for the three out of four for the course. He gets that extra point. Three out of four for the course. Now, let's ride with him now. We'll do Has he got time to get the Tyrrells? Can he get the Tyrrells through the gate? Can he get the steer through the gate? And he's just going to drift in on the inside. That's Murray Wilkerson with a mega cat. Well, he's uh, had four very respectable scores in the 80s. For each night of competition, Murray Wilkinson will wait to see tonight's score. And into camp now is one of our young competitors who, despite his youth, has had 12 years competing in the World Championship Camp Draft here at Sydney Royal. He uh, won it when he was just 21 years of age on his birthday, would you believe it? And uh, last night he was in the placings with a score of 82. So a score now has come through now for Murray Wilkerson and a mega cat of 16 for cutout, 56 for horsework. Three out of four for the course, a total of 75 points. 75 points there for a mega cat ridden by Murray Wilkinson. So White Young. Says I'll just uh, ring him up here and have a little bit of a look and I'll just keep this one up here that I want. The Angus Cross Deer is in beautiful forward store condition. And look how healthy their coats are. A wonderful camp drafting lot of cattle. Once again, many thanks to Elliston Pastoral, to Rob Teg, and as Tim said earlier, we have the uh, two IC here with us this evening, Scott Mitchell, and many thanks to all the team up at Elliston. So White Young, Benny up Mullane. Sometimes they're that good of friends, they don't want to leave one another. It's like you and me, Jim, I never want to leave your side. It's like me, Tim, when I go away for a holiday, sometimes you don't want to come back. Well, unfortunately there for White Young and Benny Mullane will go out with a no score in round five. Well, while we move that beast out of the out of the yard because he'll be sent home, he doesn't get a run. It's great to have a good friend of mine, Mr. Scott Mitchell, standing behind beside me. Scott, uh, welcome to the NG Stadium. Yeah, thanks, Tim. It's a pleasure to be here. Scott, the team at Elliston, they do a great job. How many years have you been supplying cattle here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show? That's a damn good question. I'm not sure. A long time. The association goes back and the, the, the uh, pride you guys take in presenting beautiful cattle every year. We really appreciate it and it's a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah, it is, Tim. We've been doing this for probably about three months, getting these ready. We started with 500 head of steers, whittled them back to 300, back to 200 about four weeks ago, and then down to 150 that are here. Well, just cross to Jimmy for a uh, no, oh, no score, is there? Got that beast still to go. I've got one more question for you, Scott. Uh, how's the country looking up there at Elliston at the moment? Rather dry at the moment, Tim. It's um, been we've had a very dry summer. Uh, groundwater is basically non-existent. Dams are dry. Um, probably going to have a pretty tough winter. It's going to be a tough winter. Well, we thank them very much to Rob and to Scott. Thank you for all your support. Well, World Championship Camp Draft uh, draws a crowd all around Australia. And in fact, in our audience here today, Jake Smith, we've got a couple of uh, people watching on have come down from the Territory. Yeah, I, I caught up with uh, Steve and Bridget Gaff earlier on today, all the way from Alice Springs. So uh, nice to see you, Steve. Haven't seen you for a long time. Well, do you know, we've also got some wonderful international guests from Wales. Alad Jones, who is the CEO of the Royal Welsh Show. He's watching on today. I think they might take camp drafting back to the Royal <laughs> Welsh Show. And uh, they take, do you know, they take the broadcast equipment from Wimbledon. Do they? Over to the Royal Welsh Show. Is that right? Broadcast it for four days. And the voice of that show is here at this year's show in Will Pritchard. Oh, he was the guy you interviewed earlier on today, Delightful wasn't he? Delightful yeah. gentleman, indeed. Uh, while we've got the microphone and the steers being moved out of here, uh, you and I were chatting about our admiration for Mr Jim Callanan, who is the brilliant voice of Polacross and Camp Draft all over Australia. Do you know this year he was awarded 
the Upper Hunter Citizen of the Year for over 40 years of service to the community. Well, a very, very much uh, deserving award there for Jim. He's a brilliant individual and uh, we get the joy of working with him each and every year. Uh, but Tim Dreverman, we've seen five fantastic nights of competition, but it all comes to a head tomorrow evening in the final. It most certainly does, the final ride tomorrow evening. I was going to ride over there, but it looks like the Kelly brothers of uh, Tyler, Brendan and their dad, Pete, have got them under control. Do you think I should go give them a hand? Look, I don't think there's anyone more qualified for the job than those individuals, so we'll leave them to it. How's that sound? No, I'm going to go give them a hand. I think they need my help. Oh, no, look, they've just no, got to No, team, come back. Team, come back. <laughs> You've There's been still told. another couple of competitors to go. Come back, Tim. Oh, brilliant. Well, uh, next into camp, Mr David Andrews, Jake. Yeah, certainly is Lindsay, and David is riding his uh, eight-year-old mare uh, side by Hazelwood Conman. This is uh, Merlin Conspiracy. Down to you, Jim. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Lindsay. OK, here we go. Dave Andrews with Merlin Conspiracy, the property manager from Ab Aberdeen in the Upper Hutter. Makes his selection and once again gets it away nice and clean and right up the face of the camp here now. Conspiracy goes one side, one the other. Back in the middle of the yard, they call for the gate. Oh, and a big turn there as well as they make their way out here now onto the dance floor in the NG Stadium. Around the first peg they come. And Conspiracy, around the first peg they come. He's going to set things up. They do the changeover. Now he says, I'll wrap it up a little tight, will I? Oh, yes, it's going to be very tight. Comes around here now. Merlin Conspiracy and Dave Andrews. What can they do with it now? Three out of four for the course. Come on, Sydney boys and girls. Ride with him, Christy, Tom, Jack. Jack and Maeve ride with David. Can they do it? Yes, I think they can. Right now, David. Right now. Right now. Yes, they can. Oh, well done. And Christy, Tom and Jack and Maeve. Oh, Dave Andrews, this is uh, such a family sport. Jimmy was just making note of all your family that are watching on. Mate, it's great to be able to see you down here this uh, week. Yeah, thanks, Tim. It's pretty good to be talking to you too after the week I've had so far. Mate, it is that uh, little reward. You don't often get someone right up to you straight after a draft. All you gentlemen and ladies are puffy, huffing and puffing. It's hard work, isn't it? Yeah, proper. Proper. You know, it's unreal here, Tim. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together as we go back to Jimmy for a score for Mr. Dave Andrews. OK, the score now for David Andrews and Merlin Conspiracy. 22 and a half for cutout, 61 and a half for horsework, four out of four for the cause, a total of 88 points. 88 points for Merlin Conspiracy, ridden by David Andrews. So now we move to our final competitor for round five, Leah Whitehead. She won the Lady Rider title last year for the ladies' competition of the ABCRA. And here she is here, performing on the big stage here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show with Leonie Jane, Leah Whitehead. She's about to make her selection. She had that big round last night. She'll be only looking to add to it. She's just saying, taking her time and now patience pays off. Leah Whitehead, Leonie Jane, up the face of the camp. She says, I think I'll go with that. I'm happy with that. And steps out now. The gates swing open onto the dance floor here of the NG Stadium. And Leah Whitehead with Leonie Jane. She says, I'll just sit back a little tiny bit. Leonie Jane says, I think we can go now, Leah. You just come with me. You've got the controls in your hands. They did two out of four for the course. She does a changeover. She moves around, sits back. She goes up there now. Got a nice free flow running steer as well. And look at Leonie Jane. We're right around on the beach shoulder. Champagne camp drafting. Leah Whitehead, Leonie Jane. They come around. They get three out four for the course. Okay, all the ladies in the stands. Let's ride with Leah. She heads the round towards the gate. Can they do it? Leonie Jane. How's who can look? Looking up in the stand up there, Lindy. Now comes around. Can she do it? Well, that damn time clock. The 45 seconds is so harsh, but I figure 
She's done such a wonderful job all this week. I'm going to come out and say good day. Hey, Leah, so close. It's tough when that bee sucks back on you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But anyway, I gave it my best and it didn't come off. But it's just great to be here. Tell us about this uh, little horse that you uh, get to ride here. What breed is it and where's it come from? Uh, she's owned by Trinity Stock Horses, and that's Jen and Jeff Borges, and they live in Connecticut, New York. And she's by Smarties High Card, out of Turner's little uh, Miss Leone, and she's a little gem. I love her. Oh, well, we'll go back to Jimmy for the final score of the night. But, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Leah Whitehead. Okay, the scores come through now for Leah Whitehead and Leone Jane of 21 for cutout, 57 for horsework, three out of four for the course, a total of 81 points. 81 points for Leone Jane, ridden by Leah Whitehead. Well, as the final presentation is pulled together, it's a great opportunity to recognise our two esteemed judges for the evening, Mr Rodney Crump, from the Hills Hawkesbury region just outside of Sydney here. He's been judging for 15 years. And uh, of course, Michael Hayes from Scone. They both love their Australian stock horses and their Australian quarter horses too. But Tim Dreverman, you are wick, none other than Mr. Rodney Crump. Rocket, great to have you down here as a judge, back here for a second year this year. Um, mate, there's a lot of pressure on you and Michael. Yeah, there sure is. Um, we've got to get it right. Like the riders put in all the effort and they've come there the best in the country. So we've got to score it accordingly and um, yeah, make sure we're on our game too. Long association with the Sydney Royal Easter Show. Once upon a time, you were the man from Snowy River. Oh, going back a while when I was a boy. Mate, what keeps bringing you and the family back here every year? Oh, we love it. I don't think I've ever missed a show. So, um, you know, it's just, it's just part of our family history and it's, it's, it's what we do. Actually, am I right you celebrated a milestone and this is actually where you be met your beautiful wife? Yeah, I did. She reminds me every year it's our anniversary. So, yeah, we can't miss one going forward. Well, congratulations, Rodney Crump, ladies and gentlemen, one of our two judges here this week. And uh, we'll cross back to Jimmy for the official results. Thanks, Tim. Well, Luke Bennett, you've done it again. Starting to get down to the business ends of the uh, competition. And no doubt, uh, I can, no reason now why you haven't got that big smile on your face now, Luke. So one round to go. Things are feeling good. Oh, they're great cattle. If we had these every weekend, oh, everyone would be addicted to camp drafting. Luke, uh, what do you do? Got any other little hobbies you do uh, with them when you're not camp drafting? Oh, I manage cattle property and uh, play a bit of touch footy and my kids are into horses, a bit of pony club, so no, nah, it's a family sport. Just by your build, I reckon you'd make a great centre on the football field. Yeah, I'm no forward, that's for sure. Okay, Luke, all the very best for the remaining round and uh, great to see you here in Sydney. Thank you. Thanks for the sponsors. Okay, thank you, uh, Jake and Lindsay. So that goes down to the uh, business in tomorrow evening. Who will be the champion for 2024? That's right. It's a marathon. All of the scores over five nights will be pulled together to determine who is this year's winner of the six-night World Championship Camp Draft from up here in the broadcast box. Thanks to our live stream viewers all over Queensland, Victoria, New South Wales and beyond. It's great to have you here virtually. And for all of you here in NG Stadium, don't go anywhere. Huge night program. And actually, one of our camp drafters brings 300 sheep out into the night program. It's a bit of fun too. Uh, we'll see you all shortly. In the meantime, let's put our hands together for the winner of night five, Mr Luke Bennett. Josh Barnett taking out second, Matt Moffat in third, Troy Palmer in fourth, Carolyn Burns in fifth, and David Andrews making up our placings this evening. Round five of the Tyrrells World Championship Camp Draft. Well, Lindsay, you mentioned Tyrrells Wines. I'm on a horse. The boys are heading back to the stables. I might head that way as well. We'll catch you tomorrow from here in the NG Stadium. Thanks for all your company and we look forward to all the action in the equestrian part of the main arena here tomorrow.